said, yeah, I've taken one round through the front windshield. He's, he's still continuing to fire. For the first time, we are seeing the moment a state trooper dodged bullets aimed at him by a suspect during chase on Oklahoma's busiest turnpikes. The Highway Patrol releasing that video today, but tonight we are asking why they did not show us any of the hours long deadly standoff that followed. News Force Caitlin Ogle is on the night beat. And Caitlin, what did you find out? Well, this video only shows the chase that led up to the turnpike standoff. And sources tell us the footage of the trooper returning fire has been edited out because it's part of an ongoing investigation. The purpose of this video is to show the suspect fired first. Passing tent nearly struck a OCPD motorcycle officer. Trooper Brack Miller keeping his calm, dodging bullets from an Arizona armed robbery suspect's gun. The chase happening April 2nd on one of the metro's busiest turnpikes. The suspect, 32 year old Charles Carswell, refusing to stop. 950 City shots fired. They shot one through the back window, still pointing the gun. News 4 zooming in and slowing down the footage as they approach Eastern. You can see the glass shattering as Carswell's bullets fly. Miller's first attempt at a tactical maneuver didn't work. Oh, that was ugly. And Carswell keeps firing. <laughs> so, yeah, second one round through the front windshield. One of the suspect's shots hits their target, cracking the trooper's windshield. OHP cutting the video before the bullet hits the glass. As the shootout moves to the Turner Turnpike, Carswell keeps firing. Before Miller tried another pit maneuver, this one causing the SUV to spin out of control. TBI, TBI, TBI. Sources say that's when Carswell gets out of the SUV, grabs an AK 47, and starts firing at troopers. But none of that footage released by OHP Thursday. Traffic backed up for miles on the Turner Turnpike as a standoff between Carswell, OHP, and the Oklahoma City Police kicks off. It was like a war zone. Everywhere you looked, there was someone in gear and with a gun. Hours later, OHP's tactical team firing the fatal blow, killing the 32 year old. They're taking rounds and they're not hiding and they're not stopping. They're, they're becoming more aggressive because they know they need to do that to keep people safe. And we asked OHP when they think they'll be releasing footage from the actual standoff, and they said it'll be quite a while because of that ongoing investigation.